between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Cleveland Browns. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week, and we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Elliott complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Complete. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain of 13, it's a first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Prescott looks to throw on first. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. The D-tackle, Sheldon Richardson, came barreling in for the sack. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. It's One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Flush to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Hey. 
Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 27. He'll set up to throw. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was looking for Landry that time, and that'll bring up second down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely, frees up your guys elsewhere. On second down, Mayfield again. Quickly into the hands of Beckham. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Complete to number 13. Odell Beckham, Beckham. his fifth touchdown, touchdown now on the year. And the Browns have taken the early lead. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. Makes the score Browns 7. Cowboys. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And here comes Diggs. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Takeover first and 10 at their own 26. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. On second down now, it's Elliott able to power through. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. On the carry. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And two. Prescott on third and two. And he's got his man on the out route. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mike Sinti, Mike Sinti. We're going 54, going 54. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. And 47. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second down at six now from the 42. from the gun, eluding the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Olivier Vernon just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Now Prescott. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 43. Prescott now. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Prescott. Being chased out left. 
And this one is incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On third down, it's Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Brown seven, Cowboys nothing. Would have been a decently long field goal, 51 yards from here, but instead they're going to go for it. And again, it's Prescott escaping the pressure right. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. A yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there.
The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll throw again. Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. But Michael Gallup, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. 27 yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Landry, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Second and 10 now from the 27. Mayfield now. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Intercepted. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at the 38-yard line. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Letting one fly deep, and this is caught. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. The kick is good. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll make this a six point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythical? Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Prescott on first down. That one complete to Elliott. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Complete. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Draw play, Elliott. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. Watch 
first down, Prescott. This will be caught at about the six. Prescott. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's like seven game yards, game. the pickup on the pitch and catch. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one yard line. Toss left to Elliott. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing in run support and tackling the runner for a loss. Looking to throw. Prescott flushed out right. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. I thought that was a nice job there of feeling the pressure and rolling out away from it and keeping the play alive. And I think he did it with the idea that his tight end would find his way free in the end zone. And his confidence was rewarded. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Three yards the gain there. Second down. Brings up second and seven. At the 28. On second and seven. Mayfield. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. Mayfield's pass. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere, and find an open target. The coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They're indeed going. It's Mayfield. Going deep here for Landry. And that's caught inside the 35. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Here's Nick Chubb, second leading rusher in the NFL last year. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. At the 24-yard line. Mayfield throwing quickly out to Beckham. Mayfield, that one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. No gain on the play. Brings up. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A pickup of 24. And, that's, and he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Touchdown. Nick Chubb as the first half is winding down. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. And it's good. The deficit 6, 20 to 14. Cowboys 20, Browns 14.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded in the end zone. And not a good return at all. Down inside the 10, all the way back at the 7. At their own 7-yard line. Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Throwing on second and long. Prescott, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Well, it's not every day you see a defense pick the ball off and already have six points without moving. And on that play, no distance to run. Similar play, although it didn't happen right in the end zone, but you remember that Washington-Los Angeles Super Bowl? Where what, Joe Theismann tried to throw one? the screen the pass. Number? I can't remember the number, but he tried to throw the screen pass, and Jack Squire got it with no one around and just waltzed in and pretty much broke their backs. That's a similar play, although this one didn't have to run at all. Ah, here we go. Stats guy Johnny on the spot. Super Bowl 18, 38 to 9. It was in Tampa. Take over first and 10 at their own 30 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. King, King, King. Now Mayfield. It's caught by OBJ. The 20. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. Odell Beckham. A big play that time for Cleveland. 58 yards from the 13. Now they work on first and 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Browns had six to their lead. 
And the lead will grow by one more. Makes the score Browns 28, Cowboys 20. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback at their own 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. A second down throw for Prescott. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. That'll go as a loss of nine, and it leads to third down. Nine on the play. Brings up third down. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. He'll and he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Olivier Vernon getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Now Landry. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically... One guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Mayfield looks to throw. It's caught. Beckham. 20 and all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. It is a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Stepping up, he's hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All I know, partners, that with every play call that came in, there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control, and yet they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them, and now a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. So we call sudden change. Let's see if the defense is mentally ready to take care of it. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. B.J. Goodson with a pick, and he'll be down at the six-yard line. Well, they were obviously.
obviously backed up, had a little bit of space from the goal line, snapping it from the three, but still try to throw it and... Yeah, exactly. If this is where hindsight is 2020 comes into play, right? Seems like a good idea to throw the ball there. Maybe you'll surprise them and catch them off guard. Instead, you've created a turnover and put your defense at a bad spot. A four yard From game. the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth of the year. And the Browns take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Extra point by Seibert up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. At their own 21-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Leads to third and 11. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 11. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Charles, I think back to your earlier statement about the visitors being the underdogs needing to win that turnover battle. And this defense, they forced two turnovers so far. Big reason why they lead this game. Yeah, and I know defenses always talk about getting turnovers and bunches, getting those takeaways. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Olivier Vernon. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Touchdown, Cleveland. Andy Janovich, his first touchdown on the year. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. And his kick is good. Makes the score, Browns 42, Cowboys 20. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken about seven yards deep. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration, the body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On second down, Prescott again. And that's Elliott, complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. The Cowboys on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off by Carl Joseph. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. They'll take over first. Another solid game-changing play for this defense with the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone with their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot.
spot in order to make a play. The offense has had its moments, too. Now a throw here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. First down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. At the five-yard line. They'll run with Chubb. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Intercepted. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still a three-score game, though, fourth quarter. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A first down throw for Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. They'll roll him out right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl quarterback, Denzel Ward. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 43. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second and seven, Mayfield. He finds his target, Beckham. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. And it's... Third down. On third down, Mayfield. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Nine yards. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. So instead of running, Mayfield's going to throw it here. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for the Browns, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll return home next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for Dallas, they'll sink now to 0-4. And, and they will be at home next week to take on the New York Giants. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.